Australia vs France FIFA Women's World Cup 2023 Australia vs France Australia advances to semi-final in historic penalty shootout thriller. The 2023 FIFA Women's World Cup continued Saturday with an absolute thriller of a quarterfinal matchup between tournament co-host Australia and France at Suncorp Stadium in Brisbane, Australia. The match went scoreless throughout the entirety of regulation and extra time, culminating in an epic shootout where Australia prevailed 7-6 in front of a raucous home crowd. The shootout lasted nine rounds, making it the longest in men's or women's World Cup history. Australia will face the winner of england Colombia in the semi-final on Wednesday. Australia advances past France on penalty 0-0, 7-6. In the 8th minute, early chance for Cadidia to Dani and France. In the 12th minute, near miss as France keeps knocking early. In the 32nd minute, stellar save from Australia's Mackenzie Arnold to keep France off the score sheet. In the 41st minute, Elisa de Almeida saves France with incredible deflection in goal. First half. In the 45th minute, Mary Fowler can't finish the attack just before halftime. Halftime. Who will strike first? The World Cup Now crew broke down an action packed but ultimately scoreless first half in Brisbane. In the 50th minute, Australia ramping up the pressure early in the second half. The Matildas got a corner kick out of this Mary Fowler try but ultimately not a goal. In the 55th minute, look who's coming in. Sam Kerr, the star and captain of this Australia team, has entered as an early substitution as she continues to nurse a calf injury. Her entrance caused the biggest roar of the night from the home crowd in Brisbane. Second half. In the 60th minute, more golden chances for Australia, but no goal. Two stellar saves from French goalkeeper Pauline Pirard Magnin are the only reasons why Australia has not yet rewarded its raucous home crowd in Brisbane with a goal. After second half, in the 90 plus fourth minutes, extra time coming as Australia pressures but can't convert. Extra time. In the 92nd, Australia's Katrina Gori gets booked for hard tackle on Sakina Karkiwi. In the 100th minute, France goal waved off due to foul in box. The Blues thought they had finally broken through off a dubious corner kick, only for the goal to get waved off as a foul was called on Wendy Renard, much to the relief of the heavily pro-Australia crowd in Brisbane. In the 105th minutes, Courtney Vine nearly becomes super sub goal scorer. Minutes after Vine entered as a substitute, the Australia forward nearly made an instant impact of her own. In the 107th minutes, Mackenzie Arnold with another brilliant save to keep things scoreless. In the 109th minutes, Steph Catley's turn to play hero on defense. Again extra time. In the 122nd minutes, goalkeeper Celine Durant comes in for France just before penalties. France coach Herva Renard rolls the dice with a new goalkeeper before a likely penalty shootout to decide this thriller of a match. Penalty kicks phase. Round 1, France misses, Australia scores. Selma Baca steps up first after France wins the coin toss, but her shot is safe by Mackenzie Arnold. Caitlin Ford snuck her strike past Durant going left, sending the crowd in Brisbane into a frenzy. Round 2, France scores, Australia misses. Kadidia to Diani does what she does best, scoring a goal that Mackenzie Arnold had no chance of saving. Celine Durant then rewarded her manager's faith by saving Steph Catley's attempt to even things up. Round 3, both score. The captains got the job done for each side as superstars Wendy Renard and Sam Kerr each calmly sumped their attempts to keep things tied. Round 4, both score. Next up were veteran France legend Eugenie Le Sommer and young Australia phenom Mary Fowler, who each made their tries look easy. Round 5, both miss. Mackenzie Arnold made an incredible save on one end, but then her bid for a winner went off the post to send things to sudden death. Round 6, both score. Grace Kiora snuck one past Arnold, and Katrina Gori returned the favor for Australia to keep the match going. Round 7, both score. Sakina Karkiowi for France, Tamika Yallop for Australia. Round 8, both score. Neither side budges as Mal Lecrar and Ellie Carpenter both hit their penalties. 
Round nine, both miss. Kenza Dolly's attempt is saved by Mackenzie Arnold for her third of the shootout. But Claire Hunt cannot take advantage and the shootout contains. Round 10, France misses, Australia scores. Vicky Becco goes off the post before Courtney Vine finally sinks the winner to send the host Matildas into the semifinal for the first time in their Women's World Cup history.